Okay, so I just wanna let you know it is currently 44 degrees Celsius here, which is about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had to turn the air conditioner off so that the audio on here is good. So I'm sweating. But anyway, I'm really excited about today's content, so I'm gonna get into it. So the one thing you can't skip when creating your online store is of course setting up your shipping rates. It might sound obvious, but without having this nailed down, you can't actually sell online. Hi, my name's Alicia, and if you're new around here, I share tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you build, launch, and grow an online store so that you can build a business and life you love. So if you've made it to this video, I'm guessing you're looking for a step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up your shipping rates for your Shopify store. Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can edit and update your shipping rates for your online store, specifically your Shopify store. I'll be showing you how to edit your shipping rates profile, how to add different shipping zones, how to set up standard shipping rates based on your product's weight and price value. And I'll also demonstrate how to create a free shipping rate as well. So let's get this tutorial started so I can get out of this heat. I'll jump into my computer now and I'll show you how to create shipping rates using my example store, Yin and Yoga. All right, I'll see you inside. So, so if you hear a bit of a buzzing noise in the background of this video, just wanna let you know that I've got the air conditioning blaring because it's a very hot 44 degrees Celsius or about 110 degrees Fahrenheit here in South Australia at the moment. So if you're wondering what that noise is, it's just my air conditioner. Hopefully you can hear this okay. So let's just get into the content. Okay, so firstly, you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account and have your dashboard open. If you're just getting started with Shopify and don't yet have an account, then feel free to use the special link below to get signed up with a free Shopify trial so you can work alongside me in this tutorial. So once you're in your dashboard, you'll want to navigate to the left-hand side panel here and go all the way to the bottom to where it says settings. So just click on that. This will then open up your online store settings. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna find the shipping settings, which is just here. So just click on that. And what it'll do is it'll open up your shipping settings section. So I'll just give you a quick overview of this area. Here at the top, we have the rates at checkout section. This is where you'll make changes and edits to your shipping profiles. So for example, where you'll ship to and how much you're going to charge. Just below that, we have the packages section. This is where you would add information about the default packages you send your products in. Personally, I don't pre-fill this information as this is the information I directly add to my shipping carrier. Below that, we've got packing slips. This is a feature that might be handy if you have a large catalog of items or if you hire out your packaging and want consistency and fewer missteps when packaging the items. And lastly, we've got the accounts and integrations. This is where you can link up your third party carrier or fulfillment services if you use them. So for this tutorial, let's just assume that you are packaging and shipping out your own products from home. So what you wanna do is you wanna head back to the top here. So you'll notice that Shopify has provided you with a default shipping profile based on the location of your store. Let's edit the shipping profile by clicking the manage rates button here. So the first thing you'll notice is the title of the shipping profile is general profile. And Shopify has preloaded all my store's product within this profile. As it says here, to change the different rates for only certain products, create a new profile in shipping settings. Let's just use the one profile for today's tutorial. Okay, so let's start editing this shipping profile with examples that you might use in your own online store. So first, you want to make sure that your shipping from address is correct. So for this example, I've just put in a dummy address here, uh, just for security reasons and so that I'm not putting my personal address online. You might want to change this address if you ship from another location other than the address that you might use to sign up with Shopify. Okay, below is where you'll be doing most of your shipping profile editing. So depending on your current location, this might look a little different for you. But as I live here in Australia, you will notice that my domestic shipping is obviously within Australia. Below that, we have rules for the rest of the world. I suggest before you make any changes to your shipping rates, you want to first decide on where you will be shipping your products to. Will you be only shipping within your country? Will you be shipping to multiple countries? Once you have decided what locations you'll be shipping to, you'll want to decide on what carrier you'll be using and then research what it's gonna to cost to send your products to your customers. In my own online store, I use Australia Post and I ship Australia wide to New Zealand, the US and Canada. 
If you're just getting started, I recommend to initially set up shipping within your own country, as this is a good starting point and can be built upon from there. But I understand that all businesses are different with their own products and customers. So like mentioned, please do your research before deciding. Okay, so let's create some shipping rates. I'm actually going to delete these preloaded shipping rates so that I can show you how to do it from scratch. So to delete them, just click on these three dots here and go delete and delete. There we go, now we're just starting from scratch. Let's create a shipping zone now for Australia Domestic. Click on the Create Shipping Zone button here. Let's name this one Australia. And in the search bar here, start typing in Australia. So as you can see here, you can actually just select Australia, so it'll select all the states and territories, or you can select certain states and territories. So let's say, for example, I just want to ship in New South Wales, you could just select New South Wales. But for this example, we're gonna do Australia wide. So let's untick that and tick Australia and then click done. You'll notice this notification here. So until you add the rates to your location, customers won't be able to view them at checkout. So be sure to add in your rates to all your shipping zones. Okay, let's firstly set up an easy standard rate. So click here where it says add rate. This is where you'll edit the shipping rates for this zone. Here you can set up your own rates or set it up so that it's linked to your carrier. Let's leave it checked as set up your own rates. As we're setting up a standard shipping, let's go to rate name here and just click standard. And for now, let's just add the price as $8. Then click done. Easy, that's your first shipping rate set up and ready to go. You can see here the rate name is standard. There's no conditions linked and the cost is $8. So anybody purchasing any of your products from Australia are going to be charged an $8 standard shipping rate. Now let's set up a shipping rate with a bit more customization. Let's say for all Australian customers who purchase items of $50 or more, they automatically receive free shipping. So let's click on add rate. Again, we wanna leave it as set up your own rates. The rate name, we're gonna change this to standard. And then in the dollar amount here, we're gonna leave this as a zero amount. And you'll notice that this little tab here says free, so that's what we want. We want this standard rate to be free. And just below the rate name here, you're gonna see this little button that says add conditions. Click add conditions to drop down this menu here. So for this example, we want to create a condition based on the order price. So we want to click this one here where it says based on order price. And here where it's got minimum price, we wanna add in $50. So that's the minimum spend for the free shipping. Maximum price, we wanna leave that as no limit. Then click done. Now we have set up a standard shipping rate that automatically qualifies any customers spending $50 or more they will receive the free shipping anywhere within Australia. I'll now show you how you can set up shipping for a weight-based product. So for this example, let's create a brand new shipping zone. So let's go to the top here where it says create shipping zone. Let's create this for the United Kingdom. So we're gonna name it UK and just start typing in United Kingdom. Here we go, so that's just popped up. Let's click on that and then click done. So here we can see we've created this new shipping zone. Again, it's come up with this notification as we haven't added in any rates for this shipping zone. So click add rate. Okay, so again, we're gonna set up our own rates. And here under rate name, let's just go standard again. Let's change the price to $20. And then let's add some conditions. So for this example, we do wanna have it based on item weight. So leave that one ticked. Then here where it says minimum weight, let's change the weight minimum to five kilograms. We'll leave the maximum weight as no limit. Then click done. As you can see, now we have the standard weight based rate of $20 for any purchases made by customers from the UK that are five kilograms or more. So once you're happy with your shipping rates, be sure to click save. So it's all ready for your customers to start buying from you. Let's go have a look at the store now, have a play around with it and see if the shipping rates have actually appeared. So we'll go to this I button here. I'll just select any products for now. This is a $55 product. So it'll be interesting to see if we've set up our shipping rates correctly, we should get this product's shipping for free. So let's go add to cart, view cart. Check out. Okay, I'm just gonna add in a dummy address here. 
Okay, so there we go. So because our product is over $50, we've actually qualified for free shipping within Australia. Proof that our shipping rates are all working correctly. So there we have it friends, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your shipping rates for your Shopify store. As a note, I would suggest popping into your shipping rate settings and just checking them every quarter. This is to make sure that you're charging the correct shipping amounts for your products. As in some cases, your shipping carriers might actually change their rates so you wouldn't want to be eating into your profits. Also, as you're building your online store, you might just want to check into your store's analytics. Specifically, you want to check what countries your customers are shopping from. If you notice a certain country or area that's getting more traffic than usual and you don't actually ship to that country or area, then you might want to add this as an additional zone in your shipping profile. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please feel free to share in the comments down below. And while you're there, feel free to give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. If you're looking for more handy tips and tutorials, then be sure to subscribe as I upload new videos here every week. And want to know what to watch next? Click the video here on the screen and it'll take you over to my tutorial on how to set up your product variations. I'll see you over there. Bye for now.